Congressman Keith Ellison is giving his constituents a behind-the-scenes look at his life. His book, My Country, Tis of Thee, My Faith, My Family, Our Future, was just released. Reporter Sonia Goins talked with the congressman about his memoir. This is the song that helped inspire Congressman Ellison to write his book. And I thought to myself, wow, what a moving moment. He got emotional hearing Aretha Franklin's version of My Country, Tis of Thee. Freedom. Kind of made me think about the juxtaposition in our country of the strive toward liberty and the challenges that we had to overcome to get to liberty. The first two chapters are about his parents. His mother's a social worker and his father a psychiatrist. My dad was born in Detroit. His father was born in uh, rural Georgia. And my mother is directly from Natchitoches, Louisiana. Readers might be surprised to find that his father is a Republican. Because my dad really does buy the small c conservative line of work hard, save your money, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. But he calls himself a Republican, but he hasn't voted for one for a long time. My Country Tis of Thee also includes some funny moments, like when Ellison tried to hide his afro from his parents. He pat it down in the morning, put a hat on, leave the house, and then pick it out when we got to school. But the book also hits on some serious issues, like immigration and racism. The book is about overcoming. And it's a contested idea between people who want to keep power to themselves and those who want to be included in this American franchise. Ellison also talks candidly about being elected as the first Muslim to serve in Congress. He also talks about the flack he got for taking the oath on the Quran. And some people were upset about that. I'm like, whatever. You want me to be honest and true and do what's right for my district and this country, then I should swear on, on the book that I believe in. Ellison says he hopes the book will give his constituents a better idea of what motivates him and makes him tick. I'd like them to uh, look for their own story and, and the story that I share with them. I'd like them to know why I believe in generosity and inclusion. There will be a book signing this Saturday at 4 o'clock at the Calhoun Village Shopping Center, Barnes & Noble in Minneapolis.